In a university system that has been in existence since before World War I, going into a building on 6th Street that was built before the state capitol has some meaning. There's some poetry there. We're a modern town that is growing exponentially. A new building every year changes the face of the skyline. This is a constant, just as the Texas State University system has been a constant in higher education in Texas. I wanted the building to do a number of things. One, I wanted to bring everyone together in one building. Two, I wanted it to be a place where university presidents from our system could come and others and have a place to work. Third, it's a place that university presidents can entertain their alums, their people, their givers. We think that's very important. I'm the project executive, and my job was to first seek out and to go through a procurement process and to engage with those design and construction professionals that had the experience and had the passion that I was looking for. And fortunately, we were able to put a great team together. We engaged in heavy pre-planning and to accomplish what we're trying to do in such a short time period is extremely challenging. My name is Terry O'Connell. I am an architect in Austin, Texas. I have my own practice, O'Connell Architecture. I specialize solely in the restoration of historic buildings. O. Henry Hall was built 1877 to 1881. It was designed by James G. Hill, a supervising architect of the Treasury in Washington, D.C. The most interesting things about this building are the well-proportioned detailing of the cornices and the moldings. If you look at the detailing around the windows, the brick mold has this beautiful curved chamfer in it that you just don't see in other buildings. It's graceful and has a high degree of a very sort of understated elegance, I'd call it. The first time I walked through this building, um, clearly one who's trained as an architect can see the discipline and the rigor of the Spanish Renaissance revival style that was done in the day. And you can clearly see the interventions that have been done over the years. As the custodian who's been hired by the Texas State University system to oversee the renovation and restoration, it's our job to find those, target those, and try to restore where possibly back to the existing condition. The mantra is to do no harm as we go forward. Most apparent to everyone, was the condition of the windows, particularly on the west side, lower floors. They were tremendously deteriorated. My role is to identify what's valuable about this building and what needs to be retained and how to retain it. I write my specifications in a way that we can preserve all the original wood in these wood windows, whereas a lot of people who don't have experience working with this material and this age of material, they might look at it and say, oh, that shot, that has to be replaced. When in fact, you cannot buy a window today that is of that quality. And if we were to go in and replace all of these windows, they would last 20 years. These have been here for considerably much longer time than that, almost 150 years. You know, they, they need to stay here. They need to be restored and preserved. And my job and my career has focused on establishing good conservation measures so that we can retain all these historic features and retain the original materials because they are so incredibly valuable. Austin continues to grow and we build glass towers and we build larger buildings that shut light out from downtown. I think it's critical that we realize um, as a community what the history, the architectural history of our city is. It uh, allows the next generation and the generation after that to respect the past and understand the value of the built environment. Owning one of the most important buildings in Texas on 6th Street with significant signage on it and the seal of every university and college in our system should waken some people up as to who the Texas State University system is. So I think it's important that we tell our story better. This building will allow us to do just that, both in the building and as people pass they will know that one of the most significant buildings in Texas is occupied by one of the most significant university systems in America.